are weapons free. Good eating. No, no, I thought I'd like that more. Um, good mission, everyone. another day. That's a win. Good work out there. I hope I didn't go too crazy. Wait, seriously? Seriously? Ah, thought I had I'm some gum left. I'm gonna devour you. I should really buy bigger packs. There is no satisfaction like a job well done. Well, almost no satisfaction. Well, well, well. Easy work at that one. You're the new recruit, aren't you? I'm Sakuya, Sakuya Tachibana. Great to meet you. You look a little nervous, you all right? It sounds weird, but you've got to stay relaxed. We don't want you freezing up out there. Oh. All right, let's get to the mission briefing. You've got the lead today. I'll be handling the long range backup. So wherever you go, I'll follow. This is as basic as strategy gets, but it's the key to success when you're teamed up with a long-range god arc like mine. Oh, and don't go running off. If you get too far, I can't cover you. Stay within my line of sight and my god arc's effective range. All right, we're a team now, you and I. We look out for each other. Let's get out there and take those origami down. All units. 
units are in position and awaiting the go code. Sakuya, are you two prepared? No problems here, Hibari. Let's get in there and win this. Is this your first time fighting a cocoon maiden? They're a little scary, I'll admit. They don't move. I don't know if they even can. But if they catch a beat on you, they never miss. Watch your teammates back and never stop moving. Got it? Primary target terminated! Rip them up! spoke so highly of your abilities. You learn and adapt incredibly quickly. Look, You're not afraid to try new strategies. Never let go of that.
Hey, what's up? I assume you're the new star rookie everyone's been going on about. I'm Eric. That's right. Eric der Vogelweid. I suggest you do your best to emulate me. I've been out defending humankind for a while, and I think I know. Eric, look out! Whoa! Don't just stand there and fight. Well, there you go. Welcome to this godforsaken place. I'm Selma. Don't waste your time remembering. Neither of us will be here long. I hate being the guy to break it to you, but death is not so rare out here. Surprised? Afraid? Well, what did you think it was gonna be? Forget it. The time for mourning has come and gone. We've got a mission. Let's go. Here's a key to staying alive. Never give a breath of quarter and stay the hell away from me. New Oracle responses are popping up everywhere. Watch out, you're being boxed in. Cut a path through the weakest part of their lines. Fall I'm back beyond the range you. of the maidens and take them one at a time. Oh, yeah. The curtain falls. In the end, <laughs> beasts will be beasts. <laughs> You wanted real power? <laughs> Just caught dead. Focus! <laughs> In the end, <laughs> beasts will be beasts.
will be looking at advanced God Eater tactics and awareness. This could save your life out in the field. Mid-sized and larger origami are often made of sterner stuff. They have armor of different thickness about their bodies. By watching for their response immediately following an attack, you can tell if you're striking an effective area. There are four possible responses from a God Arc attack. This shows them ordered from weakest to strongest. Be sure to watch for these replies when you strike Aragami. Always focus your attacks where they are most effective. I've prepared a Vajra simulation target. Go ahead and begin Zero. combat. Try to discover where all responses land. I'm going to devour you. Hardly a meal at all. Yeah. Yeah. Cheer him up. Yeah. Sever. Yeah. All right, go ahead and halt there. Did you find the weak points? Vajra tails are exceedingly weak, while their capes will deflect almost any attack thrown at them. Striking against those points is almost useless. It's always better to shift position and adjust your specific target. Now an origami's armor can change as well. Anything from activation to bond breaks can affect its strength. With this particular training target, a bond break will weaken the defense of its head and forelegs. Do note, however, that sometimes shattering an origami bond will create armor elsewhere. Observation is key here. Also bear in mind that different weapons are more or less effective against various body parts. Another preferred method is to attack with elemental powers. When you find an enemy weak to blaze, freeze, spark, or divine attacks, you can exploit these breaks to bring them down. Once again, you'll know for certain if an element is effective by watching for the origami's response. Now, using everything you've learned today, slay this target. Should have been quicker. Sever! Sever! Tear him up! Look who just caught dead. Hardly a meal at all. Yeah! It's never a bad idea to try out whatever Seven. elemental attacks you can get your hands on. Take advantage of these weaknesses. Striking with increased force and efficiency will change your battles to the core. The very heart of this is simple. When you're in the field, trust in your natural style of combat. Experiment and learn. That is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Dismissed, God Eater. Yeah! Tear him up!
Looks like we're heading out together this time, huh? I'm glad we made it this far. At the end of the day, surviving is what matters in this line of work. I think I've got to be extra careful. I don't know what my mom and sister would do if I... Well, never mind. Oh, hey, um, on the down low? Do you know Sakuya? Yeah? Are you close? Isn't she just smoking hot? And not just hot, but kind. And sweet. And hot! Oh, she's like a freaking Amazon warrior maiden. Damn, she's so fine. Even just thinking about her has got me all hyped for another mission. How about a little contest? Let's see which of us takes down the most origami. Oh, she'll be all over me then. called a Congo, a medium-sized origami with devastating power. It won't just deal out punishment, but it can also take a beating before it goes down. It's the strongest enemy you've faced. Make sure you've brought supplies and be careful to use them intelligently. Come home safe. Time to get busy, baby! Yeah! In the end, <laughs> beasts will be beasts. Primary target terminated. Was that a tornado? Because you blew me away. Look who just caught dead. Alpha One, first time is 
Running low. Bond shattered. They're weaker. Hit them. Hit them hard. Alpha One, your vital signs are deep in the red. Fall back. I'm only getting started. Come on. Eat this! Eat this! Come on! Pretty damn epic! It's working! Yay! This is the pace. I know you Look, can win just this. Just Don't stop now. Come on! Should have been quick. Sever! <laughs> Aragami falling back. It's going to try and find some food. It got away. Quick, after it. You've been in the field for five minutes. It's only beginning. All is going according to plan. Mission accomplished. Well, that's, uh, that's it. Yeah, gonna head back to base and crash hard. Don't go wandering off too far. The chopper should be here any minute. You're gonna get some rest when you get back, right? Let's begin with a concept, arcology. 
In essence, a building completely self-contained. But that's not all. Self-sufficient as well, both in production and consumption therein. Of course, the best example is here. The Fenrir Far East branch, with the den at its core, is an arcology. In any situation, no matter how extreme, we could survive alone, even should all the remaining Fenrir structures collapse. Our status as an arcology would ensure that we could live on just as before, still eat, work, and fight, all based on our own production. Beneath the den is a fully equipped plant that produces food, god arcs, and any needed material for the people of the branch. Atop all that, we are supremely defended. An anti-Aragami wall lines the perimeter, and we boast the strongest God Eaters squadrons. That, in a nutshell, is the Far East, a powerful and complex arcology optimized solely for the protection of humankind. Unfortunately, we are still plagued by a number of issues. Foremost among them is that we simply cannot house all our citizens. I am certain you've seen the vast outer ghetto, a collection of ramshackle housing that lies just beyond the core of the branch. We would love to have those people inside, but the fact is, we simply don't have the room to accommodate. I'm afraid that the best we can do now is surround that ghetto with a larger anti-Aragami wall. Options are limited. I don't know if that's enough. The armor's been breached a whole lot lately. Never bad, but still. Which is precisely why we have the defense unit stationed there, our strongest shield. Oh, goodness me, you were born in the outer ghetto, weren't you, Coda? My apologies, I did not mean to dismiss your fear so lightly. Oh, no, it's not a problem. Actually, there was a plan to expand the interior of the den. We were going to build another layer down for new residents. But it never came through. The Aegis Project picked up, and that's supposed to make us all much safer anyways. Well, yes, exactly. At this time, a massive majority of Far East resources and the underground plants are being dedicated to helping construct the Aegis. But I think that should be a topic for another time. 